A Google search with the words Wandering Woman lists over 4 million travel blogs. What a Wandering Woman is exactly and how her patterns of movement may affect travel behaviour and local tourism is yet to be theorised on. Until now. My research has found that the Wanderer is unlike any other kind of traveller. Her home is mobile, unlike the nomad who is homeless. Her types of travel are spontaneous, unlike the tourist whose itinerary is set. Her experiences are interactive, unlike the walker who observes. And the demographic to which she belongs is dynamic, unlike the backpacker who is young. The year is 1989. You are Karen. You've been living in the jungle for the last four years, hiding from the Burma army. Your village has been razed to the ground and littered with landmines. You give up hope of ever being able to return, and so you cross the border into Thailand and register with a refugee camp. Now fast forward to 2011. The plane lands in Australia. You are met by a settlement caseworker and a Burmese-speaking interpreter. But you are not Burmese nor do you speak the Burmese language. You are Karen and you only speak Karen. You wonder, is this man a spy for the Burmese government? How is the Karen community settling into Brisbane and what is happening to their culture? Is it being lost or re-energised in the multicultural Australian environment? Now, there's increased competition amongst sugar producers worldwide in the delivery of high-quality sugar. And one of the most important parameters in sugar quality is colour. Now, Australian raw sugars are considered to be of high quality with respect to colour. However, there's still room for improvement as sugars from both overseas and in Australia are relatively difficult to decolorise and tend to develop colour during storage. Now, by reducing the amount of colour to a certain limit, the industry can benefit up to $10 million in revenue each year. Self-regulation is the ability to rein in and modify our natural reactions to events in life and to curb our behaviour to a more adaptive response. For example, I'm trying to use self-regulation right now to not be a blithering mess on the floor over the challenge of public speaking. Now, as infants, we are each born with individual temperaments, which mean we are more or less geared towards self-regulation. But for almost all of us, we will develop these skills rapidly in the early years of life. In fact, self-regulation has been found to be quite critical to success as children transition into the early school years and across the lifespan. Osteoporosis, brittle bones, the silent disease. So called because people often don't realise they have it until a bone breaks. So mechanics influences the bone remodelling processes. The results of bone remodelling affect the strength and mechanics of our bone. So I'm looking at the problem of osteoporosis from a mechanical engineer's perspective. 